All right, you guys, welcome to class. My name is Teacher Chad. This hour, we are going to be practicing our uh, TOEFL uh, speaking preparation. Um, so we'll be uh, taking a look at uh, uh, numerous, uh, numerous questions and practicing our responses to them. Okay. If you have never dealt with TOEFL before, um, it is a uh, it is a timed test test wherein you will uh, have a chance to read the question. You'll then have 15 seconds to prepare your answer, and then 45 seconds to answer the question. Okay. So in uh, in class, we'll be looking at um, the pronunciation, your grammar, okay, and as well as how you uh, you answer the question. Okay. Um, the other thing that uh, we'll be looking at is the structure, because there is a structure of how to uh, how to answer these these types of questions. Okay. Uh, very good. So let's see who we have in class so far. Hi there, Ida. Welcome. Thank you. Hey, Chad. How are you? Hi, right, you guys. Welcome I'm doing to great. Class. Thank you. And uh, Ida, I was thinking oh, nice. thinking the other day. Um, uh, when, uh, when you came into class um, for, I think it was maybe a couple weeks, I thought that you were from Spain, right? Remember that? And uh, and I and I, I was talking to you, and I said, so how is Spain or something like that this time? Anyway, I was thinking about that the other day, and I just thought to myself, oh man. So I'll never forget. I'll never forget that uh, that you're living in Nashville now, and that uh, yeah, so and that you're not in uh, not in Spain. So uh, that was a that was a, a funny experience for me. Uh, I don't know why, but I was thinking about that the other day. I was like, oh geez, I was thinking of embarrassing moments that I've had. And I'm like, golly. Yeah, um, no, it's okay. uh, <laughs> uh, how about uh, let's see, Zaki? How you doing, Zaki? Zaki, okay. Uh, let's go to An Antonina. Antonina. Hi, Hi Chad. Hi there, Antonina. Uh, where are you from? I'm from Russia. From Russia, okay. And yes. and what do you what do you do? Are you a student or do you work full time? I work full time. I have a very good job, and I just uh, today came back from my um, job trip, my first uh -huh. job trip, and I'm very okay. excited. Cool. Where where so, did you go? Yeah. I went to Kazan. This is another big city of Russia. Uh huh. So, and very it was cool. very and, interesting. Yeah. And and what's your job? What do you do? Um, it's kind of hard to explain, but uh, our company produces this uh, software for um, computers and uh, mobile phones. It is like okay. it's like a Google Map with the uh, yellow pages in it, and it's super cool. Oh, that is cool. That is cool. Yep. All right. Great. Thank you. Uh, let's see here. Zaki, uh, looks like your microphone was working now. Hi, hi, Peter. How are you? I'm doing great. Thank you. Thank you. Good to have you back in class, Zaki. Thank you, Peter. Uh-huh. And we also have Action. Hi there, Action. Welcome back. Uh, thanks, Chad. Thanks. I'm doing well. Thanks. Great. Great. Okay, you guys. Uh, let's uh, Let's go ahead and get started. Hi there, David. Welcome, welcome to class. Hi, Chad. Good to see you again. Good to see you as well. All right, let me uh, let me open up our pages. We're going to take a look at. And here we go. Okay, so we have this. All right, so here are our questions. Okay, and I believe you guys here. Let me get uh, let me get this to you. Okay, this is our link that we'll be going over. Okay, so we are on page um, six. I think we're on page seven. Page seven now. Okay, so um, let's we're, let's go to uh, page seven, and we're going to take a look at number one. Okay, and we're going to start off with Ida. This hour, hi there, Nudel. Welcome to class. 
Thank you. Hi, teacher. How are you? Hi there. I'm doing great. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Very good. So, Ida, go ahead and read number one. We're on page uh, page number seven, you guys. Uh, question question number one. It's split between six and seven. Okay, go ahead and read that out loud, Ida. A company has announced that it wishes to build a large factory near your community. Discuss the advantage and the disadvantage of the new influence on your community. Do you support or oppose the factory explain your position. Okay. Now, um, these are these are going to be um, uh, the uh, the cha more challenging of the four types of questions that we receive. So we receive or we ha have here uh, agree and disagree, uh, opinion questions, compare and contrast, uh, or in contrast, and advantage and disadvantage. Okay. Sometimes it just asks for the advantages. Sometimes it just asks for the advantages. This one here is advantages, disadvantages. Okay. So um, here. Uh, we want to start this off just a little differently, and we don't we don't come across these uh, all the all the time. So that's why I wanted to stop and go over this. Okay. So when you have uh, when you have a question that is a uh, advantage and disadvantages. Okay. Uh, the way you want to uh, uh, do your intro. Okay. Is by saying something along the lines of uh, there are many advantages and disadvantages to. Okay. Now I would say two right after that. Two having uh, having a large factory near our community. Okay, or to um, uh, in in building in building a large factory near our community. Okay, so that's how you want to start that out. There are many advantages and disadvantages. Okay, in having a large factory near our community, or in building a large factory near our community. Okay, then to transition, okay, uh, one of the disadvantages is, okay, and then you go into that, okay. Now with that, I'd probably only come up with one advantage, okay, uh, and one disadvantage, okay. If not, then you'll be uh, running into time issues. So, uh, but make sure in this answer, you will have to give me at least one advantage and one disadvantage because they are, they're talking about both of them, okay. So, and, and then at the end, Okay, you need to uh, um, uh, state your opinion whether or not you agree with having the, fa the, the factory here. So there's basically three things that you have to accomplish here. Okay, that's why I wanted to talk about the introduction because with this as well as compare and con contrast, okay, a lot of times students get trapped in the um, in the sentence or, or in, in the introduction and you and it's very easy to waste 15 sometimes even 20 seconds in trying to get that started okay now does that make does that make sense either yes okay very good so uh, let's uh, let's start that. I, I, I put the question in the chat box for you so you still have it there okay and I'm gonna give you 15 seconds to prepare ready here we go 15 mm -hmm. seconds Okay. Ready? Yes. Go. If a company has decided to build a larger factory near my community, it will offer some advantage and disadvantage. First, the advantage is that factory would offer jobs for the neighborhood. For example, my father applied to work in a chocolate factory because it was close to our house, so the manager accepted him because he is neighbors. On the other hand, the disadvantage is the factory would be so noisy. I remember when I was young and when I was living in my parents' house, I couldn't study at all. I couldn't focus because of the noisy. Therefore, I was staying in my grandmother. Therefore, I see some advantage and disadvantage of building a factory in my neighborhood. Okay. All right, so um, you got two of the parts, uh, two of the parts down, and you were missing, uh, missing the last, the last part where you were showing what you, uh, what you actually agreed with. Okay, now that's why I was stating at the very beginning, okay, uh, to keep your introduction uh, nice and short, 
all right, so that you can get to those other things. Okay, so your your introduction, uh, in my opinion, was a little long to be able to include everything that you needed to. Okay, you gave really good examples. Uh, yeah, a little a little long. Okay, uh, because all, all I would say is there are many advantages and disadvantages to having a factory near our community. That's it. Okay, instead of um, uh, if my if my community had the ability to or had the option of building a uh, uh, a new factory in our community, there would be many advantages and disadvantages. Okay, that's a little bit longer. Okay, so there are many advantages and disadvantages to building a, a factory in my community. The first advantage is this, okay, and then share your example. Uh, the, uh, a a uh, disadvantage is, okay, and share what that is, okay. Despite what the advantages and disadvantages are, I uh, agree with having a factory near my, uh, near my community or, or near my neighborhood. Okay, so those are okay, and then and then you go in and you conclude. Okay, you can actually uh, use that use that to con use your opinion to conclude in in the very end. Okay, so uh, saying saying something. So in conclusion, um, taking into account the advantages and disadvantages, I still believe it is a good thing to have a factory in, near my com community. Or I would always disagree. Um, or I, I would always think that having a factory in my community is uh, is a negative thing. Okay, can, I, can, I say, can I say in the conclusion? However, in my opinion, the advantage I would weigh the disadvantage, so I support the advantage more. Uh, you could, yeah. So in your conclusion, uh, that's that's where you can state your your opinion. Okay, but yeah, state state what uh, what that is instead of just saying that I agree with the advantage more. Okay, state what that is. Okay, so uh, yeah, um, it, it, you don't have to go into it, a lot of detail. Okay, but yeah, that's why these are these are complex because there's so much information that you have to include in the answer. Okay, to answer it correctly. Okay, compare and contrast are pretty much the same. Okay. But good. So uh, uh, let's take a look at uh, some pronunciations before before uh, before we're done. Okay. Uh, first up, um, advantages and disadvantages. Make sure to pronounce the s's on the end of that uh, end of those two words. Try that. Advantages and disadvantages. Advantages and disadvantages. Okay. Very good. Uh, next up, we have uh, the word parents. Parents. Instead of parents, it's pair parents. Parents. Okay, very good. Um, next up, we have um, a chocolate factory. Try that. A chocolate factory. Okay, good, good. Much better with the R sound. Now, uh, there's two sections where, where uh, you had an issue with grammar. You said, uh, because he is neighbors, okay? Instead of because he is neighbors, we would say, because he is a neighbor. Because he is a neighbor. Uh huh. Because he is a neighbor, and the last one here is you said because of the noisy. Okay. Instead of because of the noisy, it's because of the noise. Okay. Because of the noise. Uh huh. Because of the noise. Okay. All right. Thank you very much. Nice job. Thanks. Okay. Good. Let's go to action. Action yours is number two. Go ahead and, uh, and read this, please. It has recently been announced that... Uh, okay. Uh, that a new restaurant might may be built in your neighborhood. Do you support or oppose this plan? Why? Use specific reasons and details to, su to support your answer. Okay, uh, 15 seconds to prepare. Okay, you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, uh, go. I really sub support uh, of the plan 
building new new restaurant in in my neighborhood because sometimes myself really need to eat to eat outside beside it uh, it, it this restaurant will have socializing socializing of neighbors and we will talk and meet with the new neighbors and above all I think in this new restaurant uh, we will have a chance to test new new type new food from different cultures different countries or different different cities so because of these reasons I I, I support uh, building of the new restaurant in my neighborhood okay, okay. all right very nice very nice so you're getting your your structure down Okay, where you're you're starting off with an introduction, you're giving me supporting statements, statements, as well as ending with a conclusion. That's really good. Okay, nice job. Now let's take a look at uh, some of the uh, grammar, grammar issues that you had here. Okay, so instead of saying support, I support uh, the building of the new restaurant. Okay, instead of saying building of the new restaurant, we would say building a new restaurant. Okay, I support building a new restaurant. Okay, so we would not need to say building of the new restaurant. It's just yeah, okay. building a new. Okay. Okay. Next one here is uh, a socializing of neighbors. Okay. Instead of saying socializing of neighbors, uh, you could say uh, the the neighbors uh, would be able to socialize. Okay. Okay, because here we're talking about uh, a hypothetical. Okay, or um, yes, yeah, so you're you're telling you're talking about what it might be like or what it could be like with with it with the uh, restaurant there. Okay, all right. So neighbors would be able to socialize. Okay, um, now with your introduction, your introduction was a little off. Um, let's take a look at how we can improve that. Your question uh, was, do you support this plan? Okay, now is this a an opinion question? A agree or disagree? Advantage or disadvantage? Or compare and contrast? Uh, uh, it seems like this is um, opinion question. Okay, it is an opinion question. So, um, when it's an opinion question, what kind of statement do we want to start off with? Um, with our opinion. I okay, guess. yeah, with your with an opinion statement. Okay, so opinion statements are words like "in my opinion," or "I believe," or "I think," "I feel," "from my point of view." Okay, things like that. So, so um, how you would start this is by saying, um, in my opinion, it is a good idea to have a new restaurant built in our neighborhood. Okay, and that's all you would need to say. Okay, uh, that would be your introduction. Now for your conclusion, you can use the same type of phrasing. Uh, so in conclusion, those are the reasons why I feel it is a good idea to have a restaurant built in my neighborhood. Okay, so yeah, work on recognizing what kind of question it is they're asking you, whether it's a agree or disagree, okay, um, opinion, advantage, disadvantage, or compare and contrast, okay, and that will help you with creating your introduction. Does that make sense? Yeah, okay. Okay, good. Um, and let me check my notes here. Uh, that was that's it. Okay, great. Nice job. Nice job. Good work. Okay, let's go to uh, Antonina. Yes, I'm ready. All right, Antonina, go ahead and read number three, please. It has recently been announced that a large shopping center may be built in your neighbor neighborhood. Do you support or oppose this plan? Why? Use specific risks and details to support your answer. Okay. All right. Now, pay attention. This is this is May. Okay. So it's not a absolutely going to happen. Okay. So you're going to be mm -hmm. talking talking about a hypothetical. So if it happened, okay. That, so that's how you're going to form your question. You're going to be using conditional here. 
Okay. All right. So you have 15 seconds to prepare. Okay. Ready? Mm-hmm. Good. You have 45 seconds to answer, up to a minute. Okay. In three, two, one, go. There are some advantages and disadvantages of possibility of building a shopping center. But mostly I think that it's not such a good idea because there's uh, already three big shopping centers around the block. And uh, investors would just lose their money if they try to build something here. Because uh, there's shops everywhere. Uh, it would be a best idea for the better idea to invest in something else. Because we have a lot to do, we have a lot of shops, and we don't have that much money to spend. Um, so I'm not really for the idea of new shopping center. Okay. All right, very good, good. So uh, you started off with an introduction. You had uh, supporting statements, and this was a, uh, a real life okay, uh, uh, answer. We're like, ah, don't come over and build it because we already have some. Okay, you're not going to get very many people there, so you're really going to lose your money. Okay, and then um, uh, it, you end. Huh? Is it bad that I finished kind of early? No, it's not. Um, okay. I would not end 15 seconds early. Okay, but if you're ending and there's you know five seconds left, that's okay. Okay. Okay, you have you have up to up to 45 seconds to answer the question. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. Now uh, the one thing though. Okay, is that at the very beginning you did say that there were disadvantages and also advantages. Okay. Yeah. So if you mention that, okay, then you need to name an advantage and a disadvantage. Okay. okay. Can I have that? There's also. Can I say that there's also all, only disadvantages? Um, you you can say that. Okay, but uh, take a look at the question. Okay, uh, what kind of a question is this? Okay, is this a agree or disagree? Is this an opinion? An opinion question? Is this a uh, compare and contrast or a disagree and agree? Or sorry, uh, advantages and disadvantages. Oh no, is agree or disagree? Okay. So I can say that there is only disadvantages. Okay, this is actually an opinion statement. Okay, uh, mm -hmm. or an opinion question. Agree and disagree uh, state right at the beginning. Uh, let me see if I can find one real quick. Uh, right at the beginning it says, do you agree or disagree? Um, I can't find one right off the bat. Okay. Um, anyway, yeah, it says right at the very beginning, do you agree or disagree uh, with this statement? Okay, and then it, and then it makes the statement. Okay, so th those are going to be the agree or disagree, and those have a a, a, a different introduction. With uh, with the opinion statements, all you have to do is state your opinion, and and obviously your opinion is that it is not a good idea. So <clears throat> you would say, in my opinion, I don't believe it's a good idea to have a large shopping center built in our neighborhood. The reason why is because if they do, they will probably lose money because we already have various shopping centers around. The other reason why is because we don't have a lot of money to spend. So if they want to make make more money, it would be best to invest in something else. Okay? Yeah, and then, it sounds better when you say it. <laughs> well, and, and and I'm just those are the exact words you said. So your grammar when you were giving your supporting statements was was good. Okay, there there wasn't any issue with how you were saying it. Okay, uh, but yes, your your introduction. If you start the sentence off correctly, or your answer off correctly, you'll be able to move into the rest of your of your of your answer. Okay, uh, okay. so yeah, if someone was grading it and they heard you say advantages and disadvantages, they'd be sitting there going, "Okay, well, what are the advantages then? You told me that there are advantages. What are they?" Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, so I understand. If it's not an advantage disadvantage, I would not say that. If it's an opinion. State uh, use an opinion statement and then and then answer the question right off the bat. Then support it. Okay. Okay. Um, let me check my notes here. 
Um, uh, possibility of building uh, the possibility of building at the beginning. I believe you said I I, uh, but I don't believe uh, it's good. The possibility of building. Uh, I didn't I didn't write it down fast enough. Anyway, um, there was one one grammar error. It was with you had said of poss. Yeah, that's what it was. Of possibility of building instead of of possibility. It's the possibility of building. Mm -hmm. Okay, that, that was just one mistake, though. Okay? Okay. All right, very good. Thank you. Okay, let's go to, uh, let's see, David, I believe. Just okay, David, let me have you uh, uh, do number four, please. Okay, number four. It has, recently, it has recently been announced that a new movie theater may be built in your neighborhood. Do you support or oppose this plan? Why? Use specific reason and details to support your answer. Okay. <laughs> 15, 15 seconds to prepare. Okay, ready? Yes, ready. Go ahead. Uh, I agree with the support to build a new theater uh, in the, in our neighborhood because the first reason, because we don't have a, a, a movie theater near to the neighborhood. Uh, the movie theater uh, give us the possibility to to get some fun in in weekends. Um, also, uh, we, uh, we we will be able to go to to go to watch uh, new movies uh, near to near to near from our houses. Uh, I think it's a good opportunity for the neighborhood to to develop and and get better. Uh, those are those are the couple. Of Okay. All right. Now, very good. So you you gave me a lot of different uh, different reasons that that were there. I thought that was really good. Okay. You're you're. Uh, I, I do want to work on uh, probably shaving off some of those. Okay. So you gave me probably about four or five reasons in in total. Okay. Uh, and so you can really scale it down to about three. 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 Three, 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 three would be just fine. Three, mm -hmm. three fine. Okay. Yeah, three would be fine. Okay. Um, if you would have stopped at three and then gone into your conclusion, you would have been okay on time. Uh, but here we went over by uh, by about twelve seconds. Twelve seconds. 12 okay. Seconds, uh, is is very good well to twelve seconds. Twelve twelve seconds later. Uh, uh, yeah, you don't want you don't want to go over time. You want, if anything, you want to be slightly under time. Okay. Points with that. <laughs> uh, yeah, they they take money from you. They rob you. Bl no, I'm just kidding. They, uh, <laughs> they, they, yeah, you lose points for going over time. Okay. Okay. So you lose points for going over time. So you want to make sure that you are staying under uh, under the uh, time limit, which is 45 seconds. Okay. okay. Now, um, uh, so here, um, yes. What I usually recommend is between two and four items. Okay, for you, since you had about five, if you would have stopped at three, that would have been just fine. Okay, now with your con with your uh, conclusion, actually, let me start on the introduction first. Okay, uh, your introduction, uh, you had said, I agree with the support to build a new theater in the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. now uh, let's see here. Okay, um, I agree with the support to build a new theater in the neighborhood. What you want to say here, okay, it, it, because this is an opinion question, okay, uh, all you would need to say is, in my opinion, I believe it's a good thing, or I believe, or I support the decision, okay, you could say, in my opinion, I support the decision to build a theater in our neighborhood, okay, or I believe. Uh, it's a good option, okay, to build a a theater in our neighborhood, okay. And that's all you would need to say. 
instead of agree to the support of okay state it's an opinion it's an opinion statement okay now with your with your conclusion okay instead of at the end saying those are my reasons okay you want to be very obvious that you're ending and you can say something like uh, those so those are my so those are the reasons why I support the idea of building a new theater in my neighborhood okay so you're coming back to what you said in the conclusion okay yeah. so it's like a sandwich you have two pieces of bread your introduction and your conclusion they're mm -hmm. fairly similar fairly similar in what you say okay, okay all right um, let me see here let's take a look at um, grammar here so uh, you said near to the neighborhood okay mm -hmm. instead of near to the neighborhood it would be near the neighborhood okay near the neighborhood. okay near the neighborhood uh, the other one is uh, to get some fun in weekend okay uh -huh. instead of uh -huh. to get some fun to have to have uh -huh. some fun on the weekend okay on the weekend okay Good, good. All right. Yeah, but nice nice job, David. Nice job. Thank you. Thanks, Seth. Okay. Uh-huh. Hey, Seth, can I ask a question, please? Sure. What's your question? You said our answer is like a sandwich, the introduction and the conclusion. Uh -huh. However, if I uh, would like to uh, support by two reasons or two examples, I didn't have any time to say the conclusion. So what do you think? Should I add the conclusion and the drop one part of my answer, or drop the conclusion? Uh, yes, you need you need to have the conclusion there. Oh, okay. And the other question about hypothetical. You said most of these questions are hypothetical. So should we use if, or doesn't matter? Uh, you you can you can use if. Okay. So the the theater may be built in in your your uh, your neighborhood okay they don't know if it's actually going to happen okay um, uh, the only the the hard part about that is that it's uh, that it's really difficult to answer a question that way okay so if we were if you were going to say that okay and really follow that because we're saying may okay you say um, it, in my opinion Okay, if they were going to build a uh, a theater in my neighborhood, uh, I would support it. Mm. Okay, because that is uh, we're saying may. All right, so now it becomes a little bit more complex. Okay, you can answer it that way. Okay, uh, uh, not not necessarily. This one here isn't as strong as some others. Some other questions that that we have here are are um, they're they're blatantly. Uh, second or third conditional okay and you have to answer the question that way this one can go either way okay if you wanted to follow it you could okay uh, because it does say may okay if they were going to build a, a theater in my neighborhood I would support it okay one of the reasons why I would support it is uh, because it'll bring our neighborhood together Right? We'll be able to enjoy enjoy time together, watch movies, and have fun. Okay. Another reason why I would support it, okay, I'm still saying would here, is because uh, it would be a place for me and my friends to go to on the weekend. Okay. And uh, also girls, right? Okay. So those are the reasons why I would support. Okay. Now we're saying would still. Those are the reasons why I would support having a theater built in my neighborhood. Okay, so it's possible. You just have to be constantly aware that since you started it out that way, you have to say would, would, would. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much. Uh -huh. No problem. All right. Let's uh, let's see here in terms of who came in. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's go to Mustafa. And Mustafa, let's have you do number five, please. I think that's Nural. I think that's Nural turn. I believe. Uh, is it Nural or would it be? No, Zaki came in for. Okay, Zaki came in. So we'll do uh, Zaki and then Nural and then Mustafa. Okay. Yeah. So let's do that. Okay. So Zaki, let's have you do five, please. Uh, it has recently been announced that a new. A school uh, may be built in your community. 
Now, do you support or oppose this plan? Why you you specific reason and details uh, in your answer? Okay. All right, Zaki. Remember, relax yourself. Okay, calm down. Focus on your pronunciations. Uh, try and speak at a slower speed, just like how you were how you were reading. That was a good speed. Okay. All right. So, 15 seconds. Here we go. Okay, you ready? In my opinion, uh, a new school maybe uh, should be built in my community um, because uh, uh, because uh, the children can get education of, uh, from uh, from com uh, from my com community only because they don't have to go outside um, outside my outside the area. So it's better. Uh, it's useful for every children who is living, who who is living in 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 the in that area. So I strongly agree that uh, a, in my community I should build a new a new high school. Okay. All right. Good. Good. Now uh, let's take a look at the uh, conclusion before I forget it. So you said I strongly believe that they should uh, build in my community a new high school. Yeah. Okay. So let's uh, let me type this in here. Okay. So um, I uh, strongly believe that uh, that they should build in my community a new high school. How can we fix this? How can we fix that? We're missing the order of some things. I strongly believe that uh, a new school should be built in my community. Yes, very good. So I strongly believe that they should build a new high school or a new school in my community. That's what you want to say. Okay, very good. Okay, so um, uh, next thing here. Okay, um, all right, you said because the children can get education from my community only. Now, what were you meaning here? Because uh, it's easy to get. Uh, uh, to uh, to go to school, uh, they don't have to go uh, outside of my area. Like okay, all right. So so your main point was that um, it's going to be closer, right? So they weren't yes. they're not going to have to leave the neighborhood to go uh, yes. Yes. to go to school. Yes. Okay. All right. So. Um, um, keep uh, keep your 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 answers uh, simple. Okay, because it's uh, you are doing some uh, what I call uh, verbal uh, gymnastics. Okay, you are jumping and flipping all over uh, all over something that you could have said in a in a, a simple form. Okay, so uh, one of the reasons why I believe. Okay, or or one of the reasons so I believe we should have a school built here is because it would be closer for the children to go to. Okay, they won't have to travel as far. Okay, going to and from school. Okay, that's one benefit. Oh, we lost him. Okay, uh, let's go to Nudel. Hopefully, he comes back. Um, all right, Nudel. Let's see here. Yours is number six, please. The government has announced that it plans to build a new university. Some people think that your community will be a good place to locate the university, compare the advantage and the disadvantage of establishing a new university in your community, use specific details in your discussion. Mm -hmm. Okay, and all right, so this is an advantage and disadvantage. Okay. I don't have so, to put my uh, opinion. My opinion. Um, it doesn't look like it. 
Okay. <laughs> okay. So all you have to do really is mention a, a disadvantage, or sorry, an advantage and a disadvantage. Okay. Okay. So with your with your introduction, okay, uh, there you could say there are many uh, advantages and disadvantages uh, to having a new university located in our community. One disadvantage is da ba da ba da ba da ba da. One disadvantage is ba da ba da ba da ba da ba da. Mm -hmm. Those are the advantages and disadvantages uh, I believe would affect our community by having a, a uh, university in our community. Okay, mm -hmm. something something like that. Okay, keep the keep your introduction nice and nice and uh, short so that you can get to those those uh, specific reasons. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So I put uh, I put it I put six in the chat box. Okay. Let's. Uh, okay. Let me give you fifteen seconds. Here we go. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Go. What is my question? Oh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> Building a new university in my community will have definitely some advantages and some disadvantages. One of the advantages is job. Building a university in my community will increase job for those who don't have jobs. So this is really good, for example, for my neighbor who is looking for a job and she is a constructor person. Uh, uh, the, the, however, Although uh, this has an advantage, uh, it also has a disadvantage. Uh, and uh, this disadvantage is noise. My community is very in, in a quiet uh, place. And we live in a peaceful and quiet environment. So constructing will create, this, uh, will create a lot of noise. And we don't need that. Therefore, there is an advantage and a disadvantage. Okay, uh, good. Now let's uh, let's talk about the transition between your advantage and disadvantage. Okay, um, so you added in some extra words there. All you would need to say, okay, because you had already introduced the fact that there are advantages and disadvantages. Okay, is uh, one disadvantage. Okay, so uh, one advantage uh, to having a university in our in our community is jobs. Okay, and then talk about your your friend. Okay, one disadvantage. Okay, so after you finish that, boom. One disadvantage would be. Okay, and then state what that is. So there wasn't a need to add that. If you wouldn't have added that extra stuff, you would have been closer to ending on time. Okay, um, now, in, excuse me, in uh, your your. In the first part, you said one of the disadvantages is job. Okay, instead of saying uh, is job, what? Uh, how can we fix that? One of the disadvantage is job. Disadvantages is job. Job opportunities. Uh, what's that? Is job for people who don't have job because I I, I say one of the advantages. Is a jobs, uh, is job, and I say a sentence just after job. I say this uh, will uh, offer job for those who don't have job. Okay, so uh, would we say one of the disadvantages is job? Hmm. Uh, we can't. We can't say one of the disadvantages is job. Or sorry, not disadvantages, but advantages. Okay, one of the disadvantages are. Okay, or one of the disadvantages, or God, why do I keep saying disadvantages? One of the advantages, okay, um, is jobs. Yes. Okay, we would have one, to say jobs. One is singular, right? Yes, but you can't so say one job. Is jobs. Mm. If you just say job, that means that there's only one job there, and you'd have to say is a job. Okay, if you were, if you just had job there, you'd have to say is a job. Is a job. There's only one job that's uh, that's there. Okay. Mm. So, what I'm saying is, you would have to say one of one of the advantages is jobs. Okay. Or the creation 
the creation of jobs. That's probably a better way to say it. Uh, I, 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 uh, I was making a parallel between advantage and disadvantage. I say is job and for the disadvantage is noise. Just to look to, to sound that I'm making some parallel there. But after jobs and noise, I give the sentence, detailed sentence to illustrate what I say. Uh, sure, but sure. Yeah, it's just... No, what uh, what you said afterward was just fine because you you uh, you explained about your uh, your uh, neighbor okay not having a job and this would be good for for uh, uh, for uh, that yeah. person okay but my point is is that part one of the dis one of, one of the advantages is job we cannot say that you would have to say if you if you, if you want to leave job without an s you would have to say is a job. Oh, okay. okay, okay. If, uh, if not, then you would have to say one of the advantages is jobs. Yes. Okay, jobs as a whole. Okay. okay? Um, or is the creation of jobs. Mm -hmm. Okay, which, which would in fact sound better. Okay, then you can go on. So it wasn't what you said afterwards, it's that you only said job. Okay, and you would have to pluralize that or add something to the beginning, like the creation of jobs. Okay. Um, the the other part here, um, you had said uh, my community is very quiet place. Okay, and we're missing he we're missing an article here. It's a very quiet place. There you go. Is a very quiet place. Okay. Very good. Very good. Okay. Uh, yeah. Other than that, okay. Uh, with the transition between advantages and disadvantages, I would cut cut uh, some of that out and just say one one disadvantage is okay yes. the noise. Because this sentence, I say, although it may have some advantages, it will have some disadvantages. So this sentence, it just take time. It just took time. Exactly. It took time. And, yeah. And it was it was redundant because you had already said in your introduction that there are, there are advantages and disadvantages. Yeah, I will just jump to the disadvantage. So exactly. Again, a few seconds. Yes. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Okay. And it would have been more because you you uh, you sort of fumbled through that section because you were trying to get through it. And so mm -hmm. my 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 thinking is if you would have left that out then you probably would have ended closer to a minute here or 45 mm -hmm. seconds. Okay? Yeah. Yes. All right, very good. Nice job. Nice job. Thank and you. and your your introduction your introduction was pretty good. Okay, it's a different take on how to do it. Okay? Uh, but mm -hmm. yeah, you want to keep it simple like like what you did. You don't want to get too elaborate with your introduction at all, okay? Mm -hmm. All right. Very good. Thank you. Uh, let's Thank go you, to uh, uh -huh. No problem. Mustafa all right, Mustafa, let me have you do number seven, please. Yes. <laughs> if you could change one important thing about your home hometown, uh, what would change? Use rhythm, use reasons, and specific examples to support your answer. Okay. Now, um, Ida, this is uh, one of the examples that I was talking talking about this is blatant okay this is blatant conditional okay if you could what would right so your answer your answer Mustafa is going to have to be in conditional okay yeah. all right so you would need to say if I could change this about if I could change one thing about my hometown I would change this and then your reasons would be I would do this because and I would do that because Okay, whatever it is. So you're going to be using wood. Okay. All right. So uh, 15 seconds to prepare. Here we go. Okay. Okay. Ready? Yes. Uh, if I could change one important thing about my hometowns, I would change the rules of my country, uh, of my hometown. 
for uh, two reasons. The first reason, uh, the tools that we are uh, using here is uh, not applied, uh, is not uh, applied good uh, and, uh, no, and can't um, uh, Manage uh, can't manage the, the hometown. Uh, the second reason uh, we ha uh, the the hometown is uh, become more uh, population, uh, and is a uh, last rule uh, doesn't good for this. This f this is my reason to change the hometown uh, rules. Okay. All right. Okay, so um, nice job. Let's uh, let's take a look here. So, what were you? What are you referring to when you talk about the hometown rules? Yeah. What What are you referring to specifically? Rules of uh, manage manage uh, my, my hometown or okay. rules. Okay. So, like the the city. Are you talking about the laws? Are you talking Law? about the the laws? Yeah, laws, Mustafa. No, uh, rule of uh, be uh, uh, everything is, is law. Yes, law. Okay, Laws, so yeah. law. Okay, so laws, laws uh, from the government. Okay, so now what um, what type of laws? Okay, would you change? Because this is going to uh, affect your your answer in in a sense. Uh, the customers. And uh, the uh, the service. Okay, customer service. And what's wrong with the customer yeah. service? Uh, people uh, here uh, didn't finish if they didn't finish anything uh, uh, quickly. They take they took a lot of time to finish uh, what I need. Ah, oh, okay. All right, so. Um, so that's not necessarily um, the laws. You're talking about like human nature and how it, when you're at a restaurant, is that right? No, if I have something uh, from my government, uh, paper, uh, ID, uh, ID, or uh, uh, I have uh, a condition uh, mm -hmm. with uh, uh, other. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it didn't finish at uh, a little time. Uh, in, uh, okay. It, it finished quickly. Gotcha. Okay. So that's uh, that's uh, this is a, this is a good one. All right. So and this is the problem with uh, with many governments throughout the world. Okay. So our question here. Yeah. Okay. If you could change one. One important thing about your hometown, what to, what would you change? So uh, I would change. Uh, the the uh, the speed, okay, the speed at which the government workers work, okay, or I would change yeah. how fast the government workers work, okay. Now with that, you'd say the reason, one of the reasons why is because whenever I need to get anything done, okay, it takes them many more weeks than what they tell me it would take. Long time. Okay, it takes a long time. And so yeah. I waste time going to the uh, anyway. So so you want to be a little more specific when you're when you're answering that. Instead of saying the uh, the rules, okay, okay, focus on a specific thing. Okay, specific, so notice yeah. how I did that. We went from the rules of your country all the way down to how government workers work. That's what you're what you really want to change. But but the rule in my country, all rules is is down. Uh, not uh, okay, uh, but but when we do this, okay, when you do this, it it's harder for you to come up with with good examples. Okay, if you come up with something specific, okay, you can go, oh man, I hate it. Okay, it takes it takes them forever to get things done. Okay, and and it's easier it's easier to explain that way now, uh, because uh, because rule. Okay. Um, the other reason for this because is because we don't use rule when we're talking about law or when we're talking about the government. Okay. So, so uh, um, yeah, we would say um, the government workers. Okay. That's that's what you really are concerned about. It's not the rules. Yeah. It has. It doesn't have anything to do with the rules. It's going to be with how fast they work. They should work yeah, faster. Work. Yeah, workers. Okay. 
So make sure that when you're answering, okay, you're you're getting straight to the point. Okay. Now this is one of the things that uh, that we're working on here because you've got the structure down. Okay, you had an introduction, you had some supporting statements and a conclusion. Yes, you were over a little bit on your on your time. Okay, but you have the structure down. Okay, now we need to work on making sure that what you are saying in the middle there makes sense. Okay, and and this time around, it uh, unfortunately it did not make sense. So we want to you want you need to focus on a specific event, okay, or two specific events or whatever it is, okay, so that you can explain what that is, and then always remember uh, keep it simple. Okay, there there isn't a need to complicate things more than necessary. Okay, does yeah. that does that make yeah. sense? Yes. Okay. Okay. So good. So uh, next time when we when we do the exercise, okay, practice uh, uh, practice on focusing, okay, focusing down, uh, focusing your attention from way out here, okay, to one thing, okay. If you have a question like this, or focusing it down onto two things, okay, but specific specific times, because that'll be easier for you to explain what it is, okay, and explain your your supporting reason, okay. Is that uh, is okay. that understandable? Does that make sense? I don't want to be too confusing yeah. on it. Okay. Yeah, I got it. Okay, very cool. All right, you guys. Um, well, uh, I am out of time for for class this hour. Okay, good work. Keep practicing. We had uh, we had some really good uh, questions here this time. Um, advantage and disadvantage. We don't come across those uh, too often. Okay, but um, uh, but it's good when we do. Okay, because those are those are the hard ones. You don't want to be stuck in the in the test, and they uh, they get you one of those. You're like, yeah, I didn't practice those. Okay, those are some. Right, well, in. It was great having you here. I'm going to take a couple hours off and then be back for some beginning sure. and intermediate reading uh, in a couple of hours, as well as a discussion class. Yeah. Teacher, today yeah. is Valentine's Day, and they want to tell you I love you so much, my teacher. <laughs> Thank you. Well, I love you too. <laughs> Thank Me you. too. I love you. You are the best teacher ever. <laughs> Thank you for Thank your you. time. Thank you very much, you guys. Have Thanks wonderful for coming day. in. See you again. Great to have bye you here. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.